everyone. So today um, I would like to do a quick video on webinar kit because um, I have a couple of people ask me um, about webinar kit. What is it about? How it works? Is it difficult to set up? So basically webinar kits um, is a platform that you can actually host your webinar. Um, it's not live, but it's lifelike webinar and also just in time webinar. So just in times, meaning that you can actually set up a couple of times for people to access to your webinar, like it's more like evergreen. And OK, so this is basically my dashboard um, of the webinar kit. And then I do new webinar. And to be honest, it's actually simpler than I thought because I think there will be um, a lot of different tabs that I need to, um, you know, create or if there's more button. But it seems it's quite straightforward. So I'm going to show you how. So when you click new webinar and it will ask you to actually insert a URL of your video where you host your video. It can be on YouTube or Vimeo or any other platform. So I just put um, a random link on YouTube and then I go next. And now you have to put in the details um, of your webinar. Now, um, what I'll do, um, I will set it as active and I will put my name, um, title, um, I'll put how to you a successful online business uh, subtitle don't miss it description I don't know um, duration I would say probably usually about 60 minutes and if it's only 30 minutes then you put 30 and then um, here at presenter so I will be the only presenter now so I don't add um, another presenter uh, webinar schedule so this is a just in time so um, because I haven't actually set it up on my time zone, so it's actually showing um, EST. And, uh, but once you set it up or when your audience actually clicked in and choose the time, it will be based on their local time. So don't worry about uh, the time difference. So I will say every day, um, okay, I will do 6 p.m. EST. That will be 9.30 at late time. So I uh, add a date. And then probably because it's more like um, just in time or evergreen. So I can actually add other times as well to suit other people's time or 10 p.m. or 10 a.m. EST and then I add the date in. So you can actually add as many as you want, but usually you will put about three times. You don't want to put like, you know, 10 different times there because it is not like just in time. Um, just in time, you probably want to, you know, do about three to five, the max. So, and then I go next. And because I only have a standard account, so um, I only got one choice here, standard. And webinar registration page, you can actually preview it here. So now it's very simple. I'm actually happy with it, um, the form. Um, okay, so... I'll, I don't change the color, but maybe I'll change the gradient text color. I'm happy with it. And you can actually um, add background image here, but and also the thank you page. But for simplicity for this demo, I'll just skip those. Um, webinar subtitle will be hidden. So you can actually set what people can see. Um, okay brand i will put my own um, logo there okay once it's upload i will just preview the page okay so i guess i have to save it first save it and then previewed so here you can see my logo and also the next session will be starts in 11 minutes. So you can see, you can actually choose. That is my local time plus nine, um, nine hours and 30 minutes. So that's Adelaide time and then register. Okay, so I'm happy with that. And then I'll go next. So now webinar live settings. So what do you want to see um, on the screen? So I will actually put the webinar live chat um, enable and then um, redirection URLs. I will leave it. Um, okay, offer headline. So this is um, 
on the right hand side, you can actually show your offer um, during the webinar or at the end of the webinar. So um, I will just put random thing, $47 call to action, send it to me now. Um, offer starts in, okay, you can actually set offer starts in, let's say if it's during the presentation, you know that around 30 minutes, you know, you want to have that offer or maybe the last 10 minutes. So I would say start in 50 minutes and end probably on 60 because the video is actually on. Um, and so I'll put 59 just in case because it finished at 60. So here I might put 40. Okay, so offer counting time, countdown timer. So I go next. Okay, so webinar notification. So this is a notification you will send to your audience who register. So you can see you can do automatic confirmation, emails and enable. So basically people will get um, the registration confirmation straight away after they register or there's a reminder, it depends on your settings. So just in time, whether you set, set it in one day or it's actually on the same day. So you can adjust this. And with the email, you can do the integration of this five um, email integration, or um, I'm sure you can actually use this app with other um, mail platform. I haven't tried it, but I'm, I believe you'll be able to do that and webinar script, so um, you can put it in. Um, okay, then I'll do complete. So now it is active, so here are the links. So you can see your registration link, watch room link, control room. So I'll go and have a look of this page. Okay, so this is the registration page. So people put in details, they register. And then this is the watch room. So basically it's in the webinar. So to unmute, you have to click the button here and then you can ask a question. So people actually on the webinar, they can ask you a question and then you can answer it like on like lifelike. So you can uh, play your video, but then you sit like at, um, in front of your computer and then answer questions. So that will be the control room. So this is the place where you can actually control the chat and um, control what's happening during the webinar. Okay, so that's about it. So I think it's pretty easy to set up. And the thing is, it's only like a one time cost. So it won't actually, um, you have to pay um, a monthly fee. So for me, I don't um, do webinar very like often. So I just want to do like a one, one off um, payment and then I don't have to worry about that and I actually thinking of um, upgrade to pro as well so I will see how it goes so um, if you have any question about webinar kit um, drop me an email or send me a message and I hope I can answer them for you all right thank you